It's Nasus time, it's Nasus time. Oh, sweet lord, it's Nasus time. Yeah, I better start praying because he's gonna, he's gonna feel the time. It's Nasus time, bruh. So, as Fresh just said, <laughs> everyone in this game is platinum or diamond. The glorious. And then he's in silver one, bruh. <laughs> Matt Drake and Spinus. How's it feel like to be with the big boys, bruh? So, we're against Yas. I picked into this? Yeah, I picked into this. As we were like last pick, we didn't get much option. We first picked Nasus, whatever. We're playing Nasus, I don't care. I like p pick first picking Nasus though, because it gives us a challenge, you know, maybe we'll go against a Riven or something, or a, a Darius or something, you know. Yas is a pretty easy matchup for Nasus. Don't get me wrong, he can do some good damage, but generally, Yas is just suck. You know, I can, I've only ever seen one good Yas. Oh, bro. I suck as well, to be honest. I've only seen, ever seen one good Yas. He was on my team and I was like feeding his Tristana and he carried me for days. And that's it, I've never seen a good one after that. Like, apparently they just suck balls. Like, seriously. Or, at least the ones on my team suck balls. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Like, you do have the care because this is ultimate. Oh, yeah. Right. Every silver one. That's a sign. <laughs> yeah, you do have to care with his. Oh, bro. You do have to care with his ultimate because the armor pen gets off of it, but generally speaking we should be able to farm up quite easily versus Yas here and not have too many issues. So who got the double kill? Karma. Oh, the Karma carry. I'd rather have Ezra have the kill, two kills than Karma, bro. Oh my day. Actually, I hate Karmas with a passion as you guys probably know, but generally because of <laughs> many bad experiences. That's the problem, you know, champs like Yas are very good, but you have so many bad experiences with a champion, with someone playing that champion, and it just leaves a bad taste there. And that's how I feel with Karma. I've had so many bad Karmas, I just hate Karma. But I do think we, I've actually played her on stream a few weeks ago, and we actually had a really good game with her, and I was like, well, she's actually a pretty good champ, to be honest. But everyone just sucks when they play her. But we had a, I was playing my promotions yesterday with Renekton, and we had, uh, oh bro, you got GG, that's the best outcome really. Shame, well, it would be nice to get the damage down on him with his spear, but uh, GG, uh, nearly spared. But yeah, um, we had a Karma mid, and she actually carried, we were, I don't know who we were against, we were doing okay, but we weren't like anything special or anything. But this Karma was literally 14 to 1 or something, that death, like, I've never seen a Karma do so much damage, it was, it was crazy. Be right here. As he decides to do some crazy flash play, we'll run away. This is the problem here with Nidley's gank. What the fuck? Nidley's gank really screwed me over because it shut the wave. And the thing with Yas, because of his E, he can dash through these minions. And he gets strong every time he freaking dashes through them. So yeah, like, yeah, cheers, Nidley, bro. That really, gank really helped me out. <laughs> but let him show. I just want to buy a pink ward quick. And we're TP in. We're TP here because we don't want to take any unnecessary damage. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we still have to get that big one. This will be glorious. Yeah, GG. Ah, oh, no, it died. What? Ah, uh, bruh. So we'll hold this wave in before the turret, and this way we get every stack then, ideally. But we'll take a bit of a pounding, but with my life steal, we should be able to eat through it, and by the time my minions come here, it'll be alright. Oh, they got minions. <laughs> Half health already. Bruh. Feels bad. But GG, we got a nice little freeze there. So we go. Shame. Thought we were going to get that big one. Wow. A turnaround, bruh. Turnaround. GG. Failed my promos as, promos as well yesterday. Since playing Renekton, I've gotten to three promotions um, for a month of playing and ranked with like Maokai and Trundle and a bit of Nasus here and there, but not all that much Nasus. I didn't get into my promo promos once. I know I just, you know, a lot of bad teammates. I think with Maokai, I could carry my lane, but I just couldn't carry the game. But ever since picking up Renekton, it's just been glorious. Three promotions, and we lost my promo yesterday, unfortunately. Uh, we should have won. We should have won them. We lost the first one because we had a frickin' Lucian with a Tear of the Goddess, man immune, like doing zero damage. <laughs> like, right. And then, and then, if it was the curse of Lucians on my promotions, we had a Lucian mid. Uh, North Venice did get kind of wrecked. Well, he got a few. He was killing cats, but he kept getting wrecked by the Kazix. But luckily, we carried Renekton and I had some godlike, made some godlike gameplay and. It was glorious. And then the next game, we were all, we were like, I don't know, had about 20 kills up on the enemy team, and then Zach just kept going in, like, jumping in into the 1v5s, and next thing you know, Vayne comes super fed, and we just got absolutely shredded. We couldn't win a team fight, save our life, and it was sad times. And then I was like, I was like, yeah, we'll have one more game. Like, I, was, I sort of knew things weren't going too well now, but I was like, one more. We only needed one, one win my next game, and I put back my promo, so I was like, I'll do it. And then we went Maokai. 
killed Swain, we like first blooded Swain, it was glorious, and then I don't know, Tyler kept ganking and we just ganking everyone and then I think we were like one to eight or something and we got wrecked. <laughs> the whole team got wrecked, it was bad times. Now we're back to square one. Two games though, two games, it can be done. But Unless it is nice playing Nasus, so I just don't really. Well, I don't mind necessarily mind playing Nasus in rank, but I wouldn't first pick Nasus in rank. Well, I guess I would, but you're generally going to have a bad time. It's a big, like a Darius, and generally that Darius is just going to. Or it's not so interesting. You know, I can hold hold my weight against Darius. It depends how good he is, of course, but you can generally hold your weight. But teams generally win a lot quicker. Or once they get fed, they win a lot quicker. If my team don't feed, then it could be all right. But games. Sometimes I feel go a bit quicker, and it's just hard. It is, it's really hard. But saying that, the Elo in this game, I say this though, but the Elo in this actual match right now is higher than what it would be in rank, because there's diamonds in here, so... I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. <laughs> I I don't think we're going to actually get this big me now. Attack me, bruh, attack me, attack me, bruh. Oh no, we're going to, yeah. Don't attack me, I'm sorry. Don't on that mic. <laughs> GG. Happy days, a good bit of farming. We could actually get a Sheen if we wanted to. Frozen Heart would be your safe bet, you know, going for more armor, but he's not really doing all that much damage to me. He hasn't, or he isn't able to really do all that much damage to me because we're just under my turret. You know, what more can we really do here? Uh, yeah, we'll, I think we'll probably get Sheen and see what we can actually do to him. Everything's looking good. Oh, Ash is in the mid lane because why not? Well, yeah, <laughs> happy days. And there's nothing better when your team is winning. You know, it's horrible when your team's losing as Nasus because it's not like I can actually make TP plays. If we do TP in, I'm gonna lose so much even if we get a kill or something out of it. But when my team's winning, you know, Ash is really fair, Nindy's looking fair, and Victor's got the kills. It's easy life. I'm just here farming away. We're like, we're actually even out farming, yeah. So it's GG. Well, where's his kill potential gonna come from? He's got enough damage. Like maybe he can ult me. The thing is, I think that he should go in on, or not necessarily on that one, but I think he should go in with this because it's a short cooldown on his ult, and it's more that you know, sure he won't necessarily won't kill me, but he do enough damage to make me back, and I think that's important. Oh, bruh. Get out here in time. GG. Oh, really good job. Um, I didn't want to make him look bait. So I was kind of chilling back a little bit, and then he obviously he decided that he felt that he needed the ward. His spider sense was tingling, so he had the flash for it. But trading flash is good. And we'll get my sheen next, and I can win up. Start wrecking him. Really good kill. Niddy let me have it as well. Yeah, it'd be nice for her, but that's a good kill. For yeah, why not? Yeah. GG. Uh, I'm actually going to go iceborne in this game. A few of you guys, I've been building trifle. I haven't built an iceborne in about a month or whatever since it's got nerfs. But I want to see what it's like. Just, we'll give it a go. Let's see what we can do with Iceborn. Um, it's actually, I do like, I really used to love the Iceborn. Because it gives you a slow, you know, you get early armor, uh, get 20% cooldown straight out from it, a good amount of damage, mana, 500 mana is not bad at all. And a slow, which chain with your Wither is pretty damn OP. The only thing is, you do lose a lot, you do get, I haven't, you do get a lot more stacks going. The Triforce route, just having the Sheen there and getting the Triforce like Fertile 4th item. And the Triforce buffs are pretty nice, the attack speed and everything, and I do think the Triforce does do a lot more damage. Um, but early game, potentially Iceborne could be better, but I haven't built it in such a long time. We'll see, let's have a look. But the, also with the Iceborne, it does mean that you shove the wave, like, and there ain't much you can do about it, even if you don't want to, which by queuing that minion, if it's next to other minions, it's going to shove, so there's I, that's a disadvantage of it as well. And generally you lose minions because of it. And the Sheen's just enough, but let's just see. We can make something happen. He's scared, like, he can't even freaking see me. Bruh. <laughs> so you can now see the wave is really going against me, but that's also because it did go under the turret. Like, there, I would just freaking go for me, just ult me. Well, probably not because of the minion wave and I'm not actually fed, but beforehand. Now, now it probably would be a bad idea. Oh, bro, you dead. <laughs> you need to attack it, bro. GG. Yeah, you did. I say, what can Yas really do? Once, once you get a lead as Nasus over Yas, you know we've been out farming him already. We got, oh, we've got this ice one. That damage, and then the slow. The slow is just so OP. With a an ice one slow, and the damage you're doing, you you ain't got no chance. No chance. And I'm not even maxing with her. I'm maxing my E at the moment. So if you were maxing your wither, like it's just an, just a slow for days. 
Potentially he could TP in, so watch that because I think that jungle is actually bot side. Maybe, I think I saw the jungle. Who is Rumble. And also again, as I always say, because he's freaking pushing his turret pushing me into my turret, his jungler can't gank. Rumble ain't gonna freaking turret dive me. So, you know, Nidalee can gank, which she has done twice. And we got a kill out of it one time. And now I'm strong enough now to freaking oh, strong enough to kill him on my own. Yeah, we could actually be in a bit of trouble. That was <laughs> the even attacker. What happened there? You freaking run circles around me there. So option-wise, what could we go for? Like we need some MR. Well, Rumble wasn't actually very fair, but Rumble the bomb. We definitely need some MR at some point. Oh, bro, you. Ah, oh, the flash. He ain't got a flash to follow. So GG. Probably go like randoms or something, or we'll get boots next. Yeah, like ninja tabbies wouldn't be all that bad. They haven't got the greatest amount of CC. They don't really need the tenacity. So that rumble look through the pain. Uh, I, this game's pretty much over already. Really, we're just wreck like I'm wrecking. You know, when, once NASA starts winning his lane, and your team's winning, I, ca I can't really see you losing the game because I could handle. Oh, I don't know if I could handle a TV one. We're pretty squishy at the moment, and also rumble is AP, so if you do an additional damage, you which I couldn't be able to hold. But when your team's winning, you know, and you got an Ash, and it's lovely having an Ash, it's just a freaking ult that engage, you know, what they do about it, bro? Yeah, come on me, ult me. You, you come on me, I will kill you, bro. <laughs> like, what can he do? He's got nothing going for him. Literally nothing. We don't have any wards down, so I'm expecting we might rumble and stuff. No, oh, no, no. I think he can't even ult me. Not ult me once. It's, oh, we're not going to get the big one, you know. Oh, I think we had to some forward to auto attack, that we might. God. Alright, once that go down with diving, you know where Yas uh, Rumble is. Just mana issues could be an issue. If you ults me right now, we would be in trouble. That could have been, that could have went quite bad if you got that ult off then. It's GG, you know, I'm now strong enough to dive him under turret. What can he do? We now get the 3D bomb. Rumble might be coming, I don't know how low he was, Nidhi is on the hunt. It's GG. We're we'll take another wave. And then we're back. Mana. Even with my 500 mana, we're still out of mana issues, but we've been out for so long. Glorious Nasus. So, yeah, Yas. Yas is certainly a champion I'd pick Nasus in, too. And Aradius. They're like one of my. I Personally, I, I found, you know, you guys may find different. Uh, the easiest matchups I'd go against is Yas and Aradius. For sure. Oh, she do Oh, bro, I thought she flashed into it. Yasuke, what we, we need to bang. GG. What's <laughs> oh, That's a 20 minute surrender, really. Uh, what have you hoped? 3 0 Nasus. Ash is fed, Nindy's fed, Victor's second fed. You know. Sure, if you kill them, you know, you spend all your freaking time trying to kill them, are you ever going to kill me? We'll get a boost of swiftness, why not? Are you ever even going to kill me? Yeah, not going to kill me. You ain't going to do it. Um, oh, maybe there is a turnaround then. We're going to go damage, let's go for some damage. We'd probably go for. Um, a hex drinker. We'll go for hex drinker next. Not necessarily need the shield against Yas, but it could be nice against the LeBlanc and Rumble. The only thing is, oh, is he? Oh, is he gonna laser beam him? Oh, bro. That good. The thing with this though is, like, sure we get the shields, but unlike Renekton, where you can dash in and out, and it's all glorious. We we can't. Once Nasus is in, you're sort of in. But let's see. We'll go for something a little bit different today. The Iceborne does feel nice, it does feel nice. Uh, the Triforce, the damage the Triforce does is, is exceptionally different. But the thing is, you don't get, you know, I've got this first item. You, you could get Triforce first item, I guess, but it's going to cost you like another thousand or more gold, like about a thousand and a half, one and a half thousand more gold, I think. And you just have no stats for it. Well, so I normally go third, third or fourth item. It all depends. Every every game situational. You know. Now, we're, we're, to be honest, we could have went Triforce this game because of that third. It wouldn't really be that much of an issue. Like we're doing that much. We've been doing that much damage to him. He's doing nothing to me. And we could have just rushed Triforce. Cool beans. We get that dragon to be nice. Uh, the Earth and also potentially might be able to get the mountain drake next. We have a run. But we do have my. Hex drinker, which means we're kind of like ready to fight him and we do some good damage to him. But the only thing is, right now, is I don't know where Yas is, and yeah, uh, nice damage to him. Good thing we had the hex drinker, eh? bro. GG. They should be able to do. You know, as soon as Rumble shows top, then to hold to hold that wave, 
it's a free dragon for us. And that's a nice thing. That's that's what you need to do. Is also when you do see the enemy jungler come top side, wherever we you know, whether I'm Nassus or whatever. If the enemy, there's two people top, and you freaking go take that dragon and punish him for. It. I should try and. He has to care for his ult, that's my biggest concern. As soon as that's out of the way, it's GG. He could actually ult me now, this would be bad. I should be dead. Yeah. There we're dead. We're dead. GG. Greeted too much. Oh, no, we went way too ham. It was kind of nice, but then we started fighting on top of his minions. 43, I think they did more than that. But yeah, we lose the whole way. There was an, uh, after we killed it, was a nice kill on Rumble. Um, I didn't. Want, we could have maybe not had to burn my flash, but I didn't want to really want to stand there on top of his ult whilst the Yas come in and potentially ult me on top of it. We'd have died instantly. But yeah, we probably should have left Yas because he got his second charge up pretty. Good. As soon as he ults me, you know, that whole time we're not doing damage in his ult, and then he gets like all this armor pen, and yeah, it was it was gonna be game over. Uh, not to worry. It was a nice, nice kill we got on Rumble, but it's a bit greedy. My flawless game gone. <laughs> That's cool. We'll hold on TP. That's why not. Not really much need to code top with it. Uh, we, well, it'd be nice to know how many stacks we would have got, because I'm farming so greatly. We could have been on the rack about 450 by 20 minutes, but now we've died and we lost that whole way there and walking back and everything. Kind of hurts. I think we should hit around about 400 by 20 minutes, which is certainly a really nice mark, but it would be nice to know how many we could have got. Also, we didn't have the ice form, so we probably lost a few bits there. But maybe Yas might think he's a bad man now, now he got that kill. He got two kills, in the fact. Also, the Hex Drinker doesn't really do me great favours against Yas. And we don't really need that more, like, a spirit would be better. Because the healing it gives me as well, which is really nice for my life heal, and... Like that, but when I got that bed, we do something different for the long. Cool. I was a bit worried the bomb could come, but we know now she is. It's GG. But you see, he even though we didn't lose that minion because of the Q, but because of the uh, damage it did, it's wrecked. Nice. Oh, like two levels ahead of him. So good. Ah, oh, oh, bro. Yeah. She can chase him. CBA. <laughs> Lizzie's quicker than me, bruh. She's gonna die to him, isn't she? She's gonna die to him? She's gonna die to him. She's gonna die to him. She's gonna die to him. She's pretty fair. Like, the thing is, though, he did get his ult off. It could potentially have uh, turned her. But, yeah, GG. Pointless me chasing her. Lizzie should kill him easy enough. And she's a lot quicker than me. I love my stacks. So, yeah, we're not actually gonna make the 400 by 20 minutes. I think we'd have been on 450 if we hadn't had that death. Uh, cool beans, take his turret now as well. Like, normally I don't like taking the turret, because we're now going to have to overextend, but we're that far ahead of Yas. And I think we could handle Rump War. I don't know. Probably. Maybe not. I think if we'd went Spirits instead, the more we'd be able to handle, because we'd be a lot more tankier. We can actually afford my more now. But now we're just open to being you know, ganked all the time. If we carry on pushing this, there's no map pressure, but my team's winning that hard. That's also my team win really because my team's winning that hard, we can take it. If my team wasn't like ahead as they are, it would be just too risky. But everyone's gonna be pushing, so there's some great pressure on the map. Cool beans, can you get some health behind me already? So it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, more it's gonna give us what some armor pen, so it's gonna be like flat damage on uh, Yas or anyone, no one's got any armor yet. No one expects Nas to be armor pen, but uh also, it triggers so uh, it triggers when we get so low, I believe. Let's see. TP still up. We haven't ever used TP. Maybe use one set now. It's there, but need be. Uh, there's nothing to TP onto at the moment. There is a ward here. Yeah. I think we're gonna make much happen, really. To save the victor. Easy. <laughs> How much damage do we do? How much damage do we do, bro? Oh, fresh, you got. You'll be in diamond any to see, bro. That's right. Oh, bro. Oh, GG. Nice TP in the end. 
I think that ward wasn't there originally, I don't think. Yeah, good stuff. Really nice. Okay. Well, we're strong enough to fight. 400 stack Nasus to 20 minutes is really damn freaking scary. So when Nasus is strong. Yeah, good job. We get a tier. Tier 2. Next dragon is Cloud. But, uh, not really that value doing, but why not, eh? It even make us nice and fast. We can get to our stacks quicker. Cool beans. Uh, we really should back now. We're not going to get this. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Fresh, please. Please, fresh. Oh, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, bruh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, that was, that was really insane. Dear me. Oh, that's going to be the pen at that one, man. Ah, uh, now it could have been the pentakill right there. Maybe we did. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Oh, we had so much gold. Well, I guess we just got all that gold from that. That was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, bruh. <laughs> uh, pick up spirits, because I mean, that would have. Maybe. Uh, wow, that was insane. <laughs> kind of just. Oh, I just wanted to kill the Blanc. I was like, whatever. We just bash onto her and kill her and be done with it. But, um. Actually, <laughs> I didn't think it was going to go down like it did. That was insane. Uh, we'll pick up randoms next. We don't really need any damage. They surrendered. Bruh, I wanted my Pentakill. They're never going to get a Pentakill on Nasus. So close. But yes, so far. GG! Uh, yeah, really good game. Nasus is life. And life is Nasus. Um, that's you know, just Yas just can't do anything. Yas shoves me into the turret. Rumble can't gank. Rumble's not really going to be able to do much to me anyway. He's not really the greatest jungle. I don't really like Rumble jungle all that much. Like he doesn't have the great like maybe he's sure his ultimate, but just play him top. You know, he, top lane Rumble would be actually pretty solid against me. He'd be stronger than what Yas is. Uh, you know, Yas can still get a solid ultimate off in the team fights, but he got wrecked so hard. Nearly ganked, what, two, three times? Because he's overextended all the time. And then we punish him, and we get fed and carry and carry for days. My team was winning away with the board, and it was easy. And then we got that quadric. <laughs> Which, uh, didn't we, I thought we made. Oh, I was just happy with a double, and next thing I know, boom. Maybe we'd have focused Rumble instead of the Karma. I don't know. Yas was full health, and he'd have got two charges on his Q pretty easy, which would probably kill me anyway if he didn't get his ultimate off. I know if he did get his ult off, I didn't really stood a chance. I don't fresh. Silver fresh. How do you even diamond fresh? <laughs> uh, his hooks, I, I did, he didn't miss it. I saw most, managed, most of his hooks, so I can't knock him. He's a bit in the big, big boy game now. Anyway, bosses, take it easy and have a great day. Peace. Where are you at? Where you at? Where are you at? Oh, bro! Watch it now, bro! Oh, you gotta finish him. Finish him. Finish him. Oh, baby! Bro! Yep, Rex, son.